Hi, I'm Steve Schweitzer, and this is my German Shepherd Ghost. I used to think he was pretty well trained. Down. Sit. Good boy. And then I met Tika and her trainer, Julie Case. Stand. Off. Stand. Off. Crawl. Platz. Off. Crawl. Crawl. So Tika is a Belgian Malinois. She came from the Netherlands. She's three years old now. She came here when she was just a little under a year. She's also something of a super dog, having just won six first place awards in the Working Dog Canine Olympics. She beat out 137 other dogs from all over the U.S. and a few other countries. These are all the trophies that Tika and I won. Her competitors came from police departments, special forces, and the Department of Defense. So Tika is a uh, Belgian Malinois, as I said, and they are known to be used for police work because of their courageous heart because of their drive. So the hardest thing to teach Tika was actually um, to be a house dog. But it literally takes one word and she will switch from being this soft, gentle, sweet dog that's good with kids and babies and cats. She will be very, very hard and turns into this little Tasmanian, Tasmanian demon. That's exactly what happened when Tika won first in an event called Hard Dog. Yeah! Yeah! which is the uh, competition to see how hard the dogs um, take down the bad guy, the criminal. I know she doesn't look like a big dog, but if you fire this cannonball at 30 miles an hour, um, combined with, you know, with that much speed and that bike, um, you have no chance of standing on your feet. She's gonna take you down. Tika also excels at narcotics detection and took several firsts for finding drugs hidden along roads, in luggage, and in cars. The most important, in my opinion, to me, is the first place narcotic overall dogs. Actually, this dog's nose is so good and so sensitive that she can find um, something small as a toothpick that just got a little bit of scent of heroin on it. Julie demonstrates by hiding a heroin scented toothpick in my truck's wheel well. Then she and Tika begin the search. Tika's nose is so sensitive that she picks up the smell from the other side of the truck. To keep her from crawling underneath, Julie redirects her. It doesn't take Tika long to zone in on the toothpick. Then it's reward time. Ooh, yes, good girl. Good girl. Tika is amazing, but the judges aren't just looking at her performance. But also your teamwork and also the performance of the handler. Um, so a lot goes into that. At one point, Julie has to jog and then shoot at targets while Tika waits patiently. In another test, Julie literally carries Tika while navigating an obstacle course. Watching them work together, yeah. you can't help but wonder who should get the most credit. I always tell my friends jokingly, I'm, I'm just her chauffeur. I drive her around and she does the work. But the truth is, a lot, a lot of training went into that. Um, of course, you know, you have to have a combination of a very good um, dog to start with, and then lots and lots of training. Julie's company, Ultimate Canine, trains all kinds of service and working dogs. She says the key to training any dog is to find a good balance between exercise, training, and play. I kind of created that simple formula, 30 minutes of physical exercise a day and 30 minutes of training a day will make a dog a pretty balanced You're dog. Right. Julie and Tika clearly are a well-balanced, award-winning team. For Pet Pals TV, I'm Steve Schweitzer.